Recently, the FDA has approved the Watchman device for treatments of patients with non-valvular atrial fibrillation who are at risk for stroke, who are eligible to take warfarin, and for whom a rationale exists for the use of a non-pharmacologic treatment for their stroke prevention. This caps off an 18-year saga encompassing multiple randomized controlled trials and three FDA panel hearings, ultimately leading to this landmark approval. Percutaneous left atrial appendage occlusion technology is an important addition to our interventional armamentarium and will fulfill an important unmet need for a subset of patients with atrial fibrillation who are at risk for stroke and who may be at risk of complications related to long-term anticoagulation. The Society of Cardiovascular Angiography and Intervention, the Heart Rhythm Society, and the American College of Cardiology have come together to co-author what will be the first of several publications on the topic of left atrial appendage occlusion technology. In this initial publication, we outline the importance of left atrial appendage occlusion technology in the management of patients who have atrial fibrillation who are at risk for stroke, as well as identifying a, a series of important questions which will have to be answered over the next several months and which will be addressed by subsequent multi-societal documents. The approval of the Watchman device raises an, a series of very important questions which the interventional community as a whole will have to grapple with as this technology rolls out to the public. These will include things such as patient selection. Who exactly are the patients who will benefit most from this technology? What will be the institutional and operator requirements for training in order to do this procedure in order to maximize efficacy and minimize complications? What will the reimbursement structure look like? And what about the importance of long-term follow-up and the need for a registry? What role will the multidisciplinary team play with this technology since it has been shown to be so effective for percutaneous valve procedures? These are all issues that we are going to address over the next few months and ultimately will result in a guideline document. The approval of the Watchman device for patients with atrial fibrillation represents the efforts of many people spanning many years. And I am proud to say that the Society of Cardiovascular Angiography and Intervention, as well as the Stroke and Heart Disease Committee, has played an integral part in bringing this technology to the public to meet this important unmet.